Now, while Cotswold Marketplace and other businesses have been able to reopen today, Ken Lemon joins me now to show us, Ken, why other businesses haven't been able to. And Gina, this has been truly frustrating to owners of shops like Java House Cafe right here behind me. They would have been in perfect position for reopening. Uh, they have outdoor seating and a small park uh, with the scenic view of downtown Gastonia. This could have been a strong spring for them, but that moment was destroyed by COVID-19. It also attacked their business. The handwritten closing announcement on the door was supposed to be temporary. The last words, see you soon. It was later replaced by a more formal announcement on Facebook with the words, the sun has finally set on Java House. It was scary because I mean, like I just, I didn't know what to do next, especially with everything going on. Michaela Jewell was a barista there. She was preparing to shift to manager training in April and was still on track even after the shutdown started. I, I didn't expect it. I, I didn't expect, I thought they would be okay. The owners say they were turned down for both major federal COVID relief funds for small businesses. That was the final blow. Everything shut down right now, so there's no me looking for a job. The impact is not just sitting mom and pop shops. The IHOP on Cox Road is closed permanently. The chain also shut down stores in Hickory and Shelby. A weightlifting enthusiast opened Old School Barbell Club in February in downtown Gastonia. The shop was decked out with weights and pictures. The month after he opened, the state closed all gyms. Today, it is empty. Not a hint of the operation he had here before. The owner of the property forgave the lease on the one month it was open. And most businesses here were able to survive. They have opened or they are waiting to reopen at this time. The broker who owns the property here behind me says despite this, the pandemic, he already has prospective uh, tenants who hope to move in and take advantage of the rush that they expect to have this summer, Erica. Yes, but, you know, it's so sad to see that it, you know, doused the dreams of, of so many who were relying on those smaller businesses that have now closed permanently. All right. Thank you, Ken.